Hello and welcome to the lecture. So in the previous lecture we saw about the creating the roles and the privileges and now let's jump into the clients part and we'll learn how to access the protected web services. So we'll just create a client first and before that I'm just querying the view which is uh, showing me the list of clients that are created. So if I run it, it's showing me no data found and even the roles which are mapped to the clients, it will be showing me the same no data found because I haven't created any client and granted to that role. And we can create a client through this PNC SQL API and there's no Apex interface for that because all the odds uh, package and the things we can do it in Apex and the RESTful services part but this client creation we have it in the OAuth package and for viewing the OAuth package we have this uh, part uh, this is about creating the clients and then deleting it and granting to the role and renaming and revoking every part you can do from this package. So we haven't created any client so we will start by creating a client and as you can see I'm putting the input as the client one and the grant type will be seen as the client credentials which is no human interaction and some description and with uh, email which is mandatory as well and with the privileges we're not giving anything this is not needed because this is a different part because odds only has the privileges this OAuth is nothing it's just a client and a role model because the protection is happening through OAuth so we have to create a client first so I'm just running this with a begin end part in this environment and it shows me that the statement is processed so if i try to run this and it will give me uh, data now that is about the client one which we created and with the type as the client credentials and this is the important one which is the client id and the client secret this will be using as a header part to get the auth token so that's the part and now if we try to run that again through the postman if you can see it will show me the same error and because i haven't done anything as authorization i have to give this worth too so before that first we have to grant the role as well and there's no data for role with the client so we have to grant it for the role so I'm just granting the client one name and the country role which we created. So now if you just see the client roles view, you can see that the client ID and the client name is here and with the role ID and the role name is created now. So that is granted for that role. And now we have the privilege as well and it can be accessed through the client option. We have the way to access the protected web services but how and that's through the client id and the client secret part we need to get the token so let's uh, copy this client id first and this will be fixed one only it won't vary and for a client we'll have the same client id and the client secret so we'll just uh, go to the postman and select this oauth2 2.0 and let me delete the existing token which i used so I'm using get new access token and here you can give any name maybe client one and yeah this is very important this client URL is about thing which you have the URL till your schema so if you just go to the arts section you have the uh, template right this is a template I mean module right so before the module you have this portion this is the root URL so you have to use the root url followed by stash what slash token you have to use that as the access token url and in the client id we have to paste that the corresponding client thing and even the same secret you have to copy that as well remember to copy the dots as well because that's important it's very protected and that's the thing and following this you can use the grant type we are using client credentials part only and you can use request token and if it's closing it is success and if you click on this you can see that this access token is there 
the token type bearer and this is about the time so this shows me that it will expire in 3600 seconds so following that i need to get the newest token again this value will expire again so but the client id and secret remain same only the access token will be expiring once in 3600 seconds so now we can use that in our headers so if we click on use token in the option in the postman automatically in the header part it will get added as an authorization key and with some value which is the bearer space that token so now if you try to get that you will get that option of all the data so if i unselect this i won't be getting it and if you preview yeah unauthorized if i select this one i'll be getting that the data in every portion so it will be accessed so finally we are able to access to this client credentials and yeah so one thing you have to use the access token as the parameter and that can be done through client id and client secret and which is can be created through auth.create client and to access the web service you have to grant that to that role so this is how it's happening and hope you can understand that and in the next lecture we'll just see on more detailed part about our application and we'll just jump on to the rest source and even the options in the apex part so we'll see on that